Hello and welcome back, as always, my name is Lazar, and today we're back in Heroes of the Storm with uh, one of my more favorite characters, Kerrigan. She's extremely effective early game and this is why I love her. The combos, the ganks can tilt the enemy team, which is definitely meow meow nummy, but it can also turn terribly horrible for you and die awfully, awfully good, dude. Okay, here comes the combo, baby! Fucking missed! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. get Melfi. Get Melfi, he's between the entire team, come on, we gotta get Melfi. Get the Melfi! So that is why I love Kerrigan, I've already picked up uh, Sharpen Blaze, my talent at level 1, whoa, we can't really kill this guy, really? That Malfiel stood between 4 people, early game, okay, and did manage to pick up a kill, now that's impressive. So yeah, we pick up Sharpen Blades, we're gonna have a look at teams in a second, just a second, okay, he wants to flip, we got Tirande in the, let's try a blind combo, blind combo, land on Tirande, very good damage there, here comes the hook by Stitch, no, misses, damn it. So what was that? The one for one overall. Let's talk about Kerrigan though. How is she doing in the meta? Oh, not so good. Not so good. Not because she's necessarily bad, but more because the meta doesn't really take advantage of what Kerrigan does. And Alarak, quite frankly, is usually the better option for this niche uh, role that Kerrigan fills out. Anyway, that's how I feel about her, at least. There are two builds mainly for Kerrigan. You have your combo build or meta build, which is what I'm gonna be showcasing today. And you also have a Q build for Kerrigan. Most useful on um, Infernal Shrines, for example. I don't particularly enjoy that build, which is why I'm not going to play it. Today we're gonna highlight the meta build. Also check the video description if you guys uh, don't wanna keep up with what talents I'm picking and etc, etc. She's also extremely squishy, so when you dive in, you might find yourself dying, getting squished, especially if you do not have any sorts of actual follow-up or backup from your own team. For example, right now these guys got good control over that. Oh, what? I was just about to say I'm gonna help uh, Stukov, but he doesn't need any help. The metal shrine is controlled quite nicely, so no problems there. Okay, let's get a wave clear on. Q from minion to minion. Make sure you kill him so it doesn't cost you mana. Uh, we're gonna go Psionic Pulse, next talent at level 4. I was about to say 7. Are they rotating to us or what are they doing? Okay, I'm coming. I see that. Don't worry about it, JJ. Don't worry about it, JJ, JJ. No need for combos there, perfect. I usually combo when I am sure that the enemy team committed to a specific pathing, okay, so I don't miss it. The way you combo with Kerrigan is quite simple, you put your W ability in between yourself and your target, then you immediately follow it up with an E. Now, it's a, like I said, fairly simple and straightforward approach, but that will not stop you from missing a whole bunch of combos. The trick is not to get tilted, not to care that much, and just keep on practicing it until you get it right. It's not that hard, really. But again, it can miss, it's fine. Uh, I don't wanna like charge in here. Okay, he used flip. I was just about to say that, where's the flip at, you know? Okay, we did manage to pick up a kill there. Got the combos and the silence, there we go, perfect. Eh, one more, maybe, maybe? What do you say, Stitch? Stitch OP, come on, man. We got the healer here, so I'm gonna stay in. Minions are done, though. Got globe. W for wave here and the damage on the keep there. Alright, we managed to get it. Nice. A good chunk of XP early game from a fort. We just got level 7 and we're gonna go with Bladed Momentum. Now, Bladed Momentum used to be Battle Momentum, which was a general talent across multiple heroes. They changed it, they make it, uh, made it personalized for each and every single character. What you need to know is awesome hooks, baby! Awesome hooks! That's what you need to know. Um, what you need to know is that through your basic attacks, you're gonna get 0.6 second cooldown reduction for your basic abilities, which means what? Which means more combos, okay? That's the point, more combos. So that's kind of my thoughts on Kerrigan altogether. I like her, really. I don't think there's nothing, there's anything wrong with her. I would just like something to sp sprucing up her gameplay, you know? Add something a little bit different. I still want her to be OP combo, you know, because we got like, what, two, three heroes that can combo like this? this type of combo, so I like it. But a bit more build diversity, a bit more talent options would be really welcomed on Kerrigan. And perhaps a tad different playstyle. Okay, we here, we here, yes we are here. Where's the enemy? Yeah. Oh my god, the hook's OP! MVP stitches, I don't care. Awesome. Awesome job by stitches. Unfortunately, I suck, so I failed my combo. Not gonna get tilted? Just gonna keep on playing. Now, there is a gear. Oh yeah, the hooks. Oh shit. Come on, can you get a hook? Oh, he tried so hard. 
Nice zoning by our very own uh, Stukov there. Enemy team coming in. Watch my back. Combos are out. Does land. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Where's the rest of my guy? Why are you fucking wave clearing now? Come on, there's a team fight on. Go get him. Go get him. boy. Atta boy. Stitch. There you go. Resets me. Go, baby. You got that. That's all you. Oh, and Jane, I was uh, soaking middle. That is a tactic, definitely. When you're sure that you're gonna be able to get your temple and all whatnot, you can definitely go for a better side soak as well. Like, for example, now. Now would be the time, not earlier. Earlier we were fighting. But in the spirit of Jaina, I'm gonna go middle now because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna contest. No, they're not gonna contest. Just some stats. Ask Kyrgyz, you shouldn't really be top damage. You're not that kind of assassin. Not like Kael, Dazgul, Dan, or other high damage dealing assassins. But you can still pull your own weight quite nicely. Maelstrom, next talent. Here again is the one trick pony with the combo. That's what you should take away from this. They're soaking all the other lanes. Uh, one on one with Malfella would lose because he's got incredible amounts of sustain. So, surely, uh, slowly but surely they will be able to kill me. Now, what I find interesting is that we lost Jaina on bottom, even though it was a four on three, but they did manage to pick up a double kill in return. Top lane was also getting pushed there. We got level tens now, so we got the clear advantage. Uh, by the time I get to top lane, I feel I'm not gonna get much soaking done, so I'm just gonna stay here for the time being. Use that psionic pulse to get a little bit of extra damage on the wave and clear it much easier. And I'm gonna help her with this. My temple is Since Liming came in here. Oh, no, 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 you go clear and uh, me and Jaina got this. Okay, let's try not to move her from the thing. Okay, good. Bottom lane is looking interesting. Stukov versus Malfiel. He actually killed him earlier, which was impressive. Okay, Jaina's got top lane. Okay, side soak, Jaina's got it. I'm gonna go bottom and see if I can help Stook. Nah, I can't help Stook. Come on, Stook. Fuck no. Oh my god, did I actually... Oh god, I'm gonna die too. No, 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 Stitches came in. Okay, and they turned their attention to Stitch, which is good. The entire enemy team on the bottom lane. No, Stitch! Combo, baby, combos! What the fuck? Why didn't he get combo? Did he get unstoppable? Possible. He's into our base. He's gonna get a kill. But Li Ming's gonna get resets. Come on, baby. Don't you wanna reset? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, not even fucking close. <sighs> fuck me. Oh, that was unfortunate. What? Okay, okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. I saw the shimmer. I saw the shimmer. Let's go back. Fuck this. What was the shimmer anyway? Tirande? Most likely. Alright, level 11 to 12. We still got one level in front as side push. Jaina did a good job on the top lane. Here comes the cloaker. See the cloaker? Here, here right. Right here. Dead bitch, you dead now. Goodbye forever. Tum, tum, ta -tum, ta -na 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 -na. What? Come on, get her. Get her. Fucking kill her. Do it. Do it. Keep chase. Keep chase. There, I helped you. Side push, Jaina. Damn it, she didn't die. I, was f I thought for sure she was gonna die. But that's okay because Stukov is dead instead. So there you go. Ouch, this is gonna hurt. Combo's out! Combo lands! Yay! And the kill for us. Over the boss, a fight is going on. Uh, did you notice that the garage is called hate? I hate it. Why so hateful? Uh, why so hateful? Oh, there was a cleanse there. Good cleanse by the enemy Regar. Unfortunately, it was too little too late. And we got level 13 now. The enemy team is gonna get there 13 very soon. We're taking the aggressive route together with side push Jaina. Go side push Jaina. I believe in you. Go side push Jaina. It's your birthday. Oh. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. So fast. Wow. <laughs> he actually survived that a whole lot more than I thought he would. Alright, level 14, we got the hammer now. No need for everybody to stand on the fucking uh, altar. Some of us can, like, wave clear or get... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, go, 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 so I'm just gonna fuck off and get myself a fountain, which I don't have. Fuck. Well, if I don't have a fountain, I'm just gonna go back. Go team! Alright, we got that. Let's check some more stats. Here you go. And some talents at level 10. Well, 13. More exactly. Mm. Classic Jaina. Uh-huh. Frost armor. Deep chills. 
I don't got Frost. Didn't see a ring up until this point. Didn't really have all blown out team fights. But Scythe with Jaina is doing rather well. Here comes the enemy team. One, two, three. Scythe with Jaina tries to run and manages to do so. Very good. Alright, now my guys got the siege camp. And we can take a fight if we want to. We do not have a talent advantage. But we do have stat advantage. About 4%. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I'm in the bush. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, w underneath him. Are we not doing this? Stuns. There we go, we got him. Oh, aggressive defense. Okay, with the level 16, I'm gonna be able to mitigate a bit more damage, but Liming is on top lane, so keep that in mind. Jump the son of a bitch. No, 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 don't speed! Come back! Fuck! Fucking thrusters. Alright, let's go back. We did a decent job there. Oh, no, she stopped me. How she? W how did he walk by that mine without getting a tap? Is that blocked? I don't know. Where's that Jaina off? Where's that Jaina? Ah, she ran away. Well, uh, a good idea would be the camp now. Uh, there we go. Didn't want to walk all the way around. And the Stukov helped us a little bit, and we are done nice and quick. Now the next temples are spawning, one on the middle, one on the bottom lane. And we lost side push Jaina again. Damn it, side push Jaina. What happened there? Damage Lord in stitches. Roger that. Roger that. Hooks! OP! OP! So much OP! But you got the fat guy again. Combo's out! Look at that! Free mount combo so good! So good! Kill this guy! Kill this guy! Kill that everybody! Kill! Kill! Destroy! Yeah! And that was 4v5, boys! That was fucking 4v5! Because side soak Jaina, side push Jaina, you know, League of Legends Jaina was not there! Being dead and respawning. That was so good and all thanks to Hooks. See, you don't need skill in Heroes of the Storm. What you need is unfair advantage. I mean Hooks. I gotta go back for mana. One on bottom, one on top, and when the enemy team comes to contest, you back off of that one and you reposition to yourself where they don't contest, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, needed a drink, I'm awfully parched. So once again, stats, here we go. Second on my team, on damage, not bad, not bad, Liming is first, as she should be. Alright, so wait, where's my guys? Okay, I'm gonna go here with the stitch, or should I go bottom with this guy? No, I'm gonna go bottom with this guy. No, I'm gonna go top with this guy. Maybe then again, maybe I'll go bottom. Now I'll go top. I'll just stay middle. <laughs> you can use combo to wave clear, it's fine. It should be back up quick, especially now with the battle momentum. Okay, we gotta keep out of that awesome sauce. You should really insist on killing the little uh, Altar Guardians because they provide XP to your teams or... 19 to 16! Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Not yet, not yet. Not yet, side push chain. Uh, not yet. Okay, we need to... You need to suicide first so we can 4v5. Uh, oh. Oh, the ring! The ring is on fire! What the? Who died? Oh, you died. Wait, wait, Malfi, 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 just a second. Stop chasing side push Jaina! It's not her fault, Malfi, I'll just come back here, get fucking comboed and wrecked. Atta boy! So that was a 4 for 1 overall, we lost Tucci, but that's okay. He's Russian, he'll bounce back. Our uh, next talent at this level is gonna be Psionic Shift, it's a Bolt of the Storm-like ability. Okay, a short range blink, after which you're gonna do... Well, you're gonna also do some damage in that specific area. Oh, we're going for it. So, like this, see? And you also do a little bit of damage, not too much. Regar is up, but we're pawning the score, pawning the score, and that should really be GG. So that's about it to Kerrigan, I like her, always did. Okay, the combo is absolutely awesome, and especially early game on... Well, on smaller maps, not on maps such as this one, okay? On maps where ganking is a whole lot more easier to do because you don't have to walk around too much. She definitely provides a huge benefit early game, but it's just my feeling that she's gotten a little bit stale. I would like to see a different gameplay style from Kerrigan. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you got any questions for me, please let them in the comment section down below. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.